up YouTube and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial by Computer Guy. In this I'll be showing you how to do a really good softbox effect like this in your Cinema 4D documents. Alright, to get started you want to go into your render settings, click effect, and you want to add an ambient occlusion and a global illumination. You can set up all the output and stuff, so mine's 1920 by 1080. Uh, with this softbox effect though, I only recommend you do this for like a photo, like a still photo because it takes about 10 minutes per frame and if you do a video it's going to take absolutely ages unless you have some sort of rendering farm or you have loads of spare time. But anyways, um, you want to make a background and a floor and you want to click on your floor, right click, Cinema 4D tags and compositing. Um, click on your compositing tag, uncheck self shadowing and click compositing background this just makes it match the background so it doesn't like shadow itself around the edges and that ruins that softbox effect okay so you just want to bring in a model or whatever you want in um, I'm going to use an RPG like you've seen at the front here and I'm just going to copy this model and I'm going to paste it into where I feel is a good position. Okay, so once you've got your scene set up how you want it, you'll just want to make a new camera and you want to keyframe this by clicking on it and clicking the keyframe button into the position so you don't have to worry about moving the camera around and worrying about where it goes. Uh, click edit the camera once you've done that. Now we're going to get on to how we are going to illuminate this place. So you want to make a plane and you want to resize this to about this big and you'll just want to drag that above your model so let me just quickly do that make sure it's out of your camera's line of view okay once you've done that you want to go to file and new material you can just press ctrl in and that makes a new material and you want to click luminance uh, you want to turn the brightness to about 200, that's quite good because that illuminates like a good area. And you just want to drag that there. Now if I go into my camera and hit render, you can already see that this is already uh, doing a good job. Global illumination and stuff is doing its work. Sometimes this can take quite a while to render, it all depends on what you put in your scene. So I'll just quickly skip this. So as you can see that's already created quite a nice effect but it's still quite dull like there's quite a lot of shadow under here unless that's what you want then great but if you want it more softbox like then you're going to add a few more planes it's very easy you just want to uh, make a plane you want to drag this up into a position so it faces the model or wherever and this will add an extra light beam going down here or whatever so like that, resize it if you want to. And drag that texture on it. Uh, you'll probably want to copy that texture texture. Probably want to copy that plane again and just move it over into another position which illuminates another side. Uh, you might want to turn this up, uh, that just increases the brightness of the light coming down, so maybe 225. And you want to go into your camera and render it out. Again, I'll skip it. And there we go, it's made this really nice effect, it's illuminated from all sides and it's uh, really nice, as if it's in a real place. And that is how you get that studio effect, like that softbox effect. Again, you can mess around with all this stuff, like the amount of planes you're adding, or the uh, brightness of your luminance. But that basically shows how you use global illumination and stuff, and um, how to make a really good softbox or studio lighting. Um, thanks for watching, and see you soon.